up, up, and away! Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Zeta Toys Airstrike! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a nice piece of artwork of Airstrike on this side of the box. We have Airstrike on the other side of the box. We have Airstrike on the bottom. Warning! Please don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. On the top of the box, Zeta Toys logo. On the back of the box, we have a... Uh, Part of a picture of the combined mode, which means I'm gonna have to hold on to these boxes. How dare you? How dare you make me keep these boxes? <sighs> so, moving right along, here we have Airstrike, which is the first component of Zeta Toys Kronos. They're not Superion, and this is their take on Air Raid. And uh, it's it's a nicely done figure. I have my, my little nitpicks about it, but all in all, it is a pretty nice figure. So here he is in his jet mode, a nice black jet. The jet mode looks really, really good, in my opinion. It's getting close here, so we can take a look at the details. You yeah, got a nice tinted cockpit section right here, which you can open to reveal the seats. Well, somewhat of a control panel going on there. And yeah, you got some tampograph details throughout, a lot of tampograph details throughout on this figure. You got some nice details here that are picked out in paints. You got uh, step up, caution hots, <laughs> a lot of stuff like this throughout the toy. Along the wings, no step, no step, no step, no step. Uh, you have the white and red and yellow stripes, which look pretty good. Um, the yellow could have used a second coat because in some spots you can kind of see that black bleeding through a little bit. But that's usually the case when you use yellow on a darker plastic. And you got some more. Danger! Danger, Will Robinson! Caution! Hot! And <laughs> some more. Oh, those paint apps on the tail fins there. Got some nice gunmetal gray here for the rear thrusters. The rear thrusters actually are in ball joints. You can actually wiggle these around if you want. Going down the side of the jets, we got some more tampograph details here. You got some danger and danger and caution and danger and all that stuff. And the underside here. You see the robot just kind of folded up into a box there. Well, that's pretty much the aerial bot design. Um, he does have landing gears, as you can see, and they do roll. Uh, the front landing gear is actually spring-loaded, so he can uh, he can bounce, you know, get his bounce on. That's just fun. I'm sorry, but there you go. There's a jet mode. So, there you have that. Uh, and for comparison, here he is with the TFC Toys Air Raid. So you can see how they look together. Here he is with Combiner Wars Air Raid. So you can see how he scales there. Uh, here he is with the Masterpiece Seeker Mold. And let me just raise up a little bit so we can get a better shot at this and he is I need to raise up a little bit more because we don't have a full frame there we go and uh he's a little bit shorter uh wingspan is pretty much the same width wise are pretty much the same but airstrike is a tad bit shorter so there you have that and last but not least, here he is with G1 Air Raid because it's pressure, air raiding pressure. Whoosh. Now he does include some weaponry. He does include two sets of missiles here, which are just on these little C-clips. You can see they're just cast in a black plastic and you can take these and plug them right underneath the wings. You have two ports here, so you have an option as to where you want to plug them. I like to plug them into the uh, the innermost ports. And you can just plug them on, like so. And there he is 
with his missiles. And of course, you do also get the robot mode gun, which is cast in all black with some blue right there. It's a pretty simple design, not a whole lot going on, but still looks pretty nice. And you have posts on either side, and you can also take the gun and plug this under the wing if you want to, and have that going on. Or you do have these, uh, these ports right here on the side, and you can actually plug it in there as well if you want to, and knock the missiles off in the process, because why not? Because the camera's on, and when the camera's on, everything just goes wrong. But anyway. That's a thing. That's a thing you can do if you want to do it. So you can store everything in the jet mode if you wish. So. There you go. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So as usual, first we'll go into combined mode and then we'll go into robot mode. So to get them into combined mode, um, you don't have to remove the missiles. If you don't want to, you can leave them on. Me personally, I, I take them off. Get off. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Don't need you, anyway. So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take these back fins here, just bring those up. You wanna fold the landing gears in. Uh, for these landing gear, you just want to open this up, swing them in, close that up, which is quite clever in my opinion. So just fold that up like that. This front landing gear works weird because you can't just flip it up. You have to, you, you, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, but the first thing we're gonna do, let me raise up a little bit so I have some room to operate. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to take the wing and you want to bring it up because it's on this uh, on this tab here, this little hook tab. So you want to bring it up to undo it like that. And then you can just rotate it up, just kind of get it out of the way. You want to take this section right here and it's on a double hinge. And you just want to take this and bring this up and over like that. And you can just straighten this wing back out and bring it back like that. You have to do the same thing on the other side, just undo that. Take this and bring it up and over, straighten that out, bring that back. So now we're going to work on this section here. So to undo this whole front assembly here, you want to push it up like that and release it because you can see it's a hook tab. So when you're going into jet mode, you want to plug that in and then push it down and that locks that in place. So push that up and bring that back and we want to come back here and we want to open up this panel right here just bring that all the way down and once we've done that we can now work with this weird landing gear so how this landing gear works is you open this up like this and you have to take the landing gear and swing it around you have to use this little spring here to kind of help you get it around so bring that around like that and then you can straighten all of this out like so, and then you can close this up. And again, make sure you kind of push that in so it ends up where it's supposed to go. Again, this landing gear works really weird. I don't really much care for that. So that's the way you want that to work. Once you do that, you want to open up this whole cockpit section here, flip in that nose piece, close it back up, and this is just going to collapse all the way down like that. Once you've done that, you take this rear section here, just pop it up, bring it up on this hinge right here and this will just connect right there to the front section and again just give it a little push down to lock it into place and that is it that is the lug mode for airstrike it's exciting i know but yep yeah, that's the lug mode that's that's the lug mode so yay so there you have that and again, you can leave these missiles attached if you want to, but me, I leave them off because I just want things to look a little cleaner. So I leave them off, but as always, your toy, display it however you wish. But yeah, leg. Woo. So let's get down to robot mode. So to do that, we're just going to undo this section here. And you just want to bring it up on this hinge right here and that will tab in and hold that into place like that. And at this point now, you want to split the legs and you can see that these panels tab into the side of this armature here. So untab that so you can take this and swing this all the way up like that. Once you've done that, you want to take these panels here and just pop them up. You can see there legs and the ports right there. So you just lift this up, 
bring it out to the side and now you're going to take the leg and just extend it like so you want to come in here and flip out the foot and then flip out the heel and now you want to take this panel now this is the, the way the panel is oriented for jet mode you want to bring it down for robot mode and this tab will just plug in right in there and of course all those pegs and ports will line up as well and hold everything nice and secure like take a little knee pad that just comes down on a double hinge take the wing bring it forward fold it back and there you have the leg all done second verse you, 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 you know what it's like. You know what it's like. And undo that. Get that down. Extend the Z foot. Like so. Flip out Z heel. Z heel. Z heel. There we go. Close that all up. Bring that forward. Bring that back. Bring that knee. And there you got the lower body all done and now we will move on to the upper body we'll finish off the backpack here you just bring it up at this hinge and this will connect right up here to give you your typical aerial bot what give you your aerial bot backpack my tongue stopped working and my brain started farting at the same time i don't know what happened there but anyway the typical aerial bot <laughs> backpack is what I was trying to say. That's, yes, words, things, I know them. I really do, I swear. Anyway, you take the arms and you just bring them out to the side. Uh, you wanna take this section right here, open that up, flip the head out, rotate it around, and you wanna to come to the sides here, these little red panels, you just flip down. And now you come in here, and these little white panels here, you just push out to the side, and they will lock in place to fill out the side of the body, which is quite clever. Just push that out. Come on. There you go. Like that. And then you just bring this up. And that will tab into place like that. And now we will work on the arms. The arms are quite simple. You just open up this panel here. You extend it out on this double hinge. Bring out the fist. Close that all up. Bring it down. Arm all done, second verse. Yep, you know what it's like. Bring that down, open it, open, clip. This one likes to mess with me for some reason. There we go. Bring the arm down, and I believe we're done. Yes, we're done, Whee! we're done. And there you go. And there you have Airstrike, AKA Air Raid, in his robot mode. And uh, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. So let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his chest, but at the noggin. There's the noggin. You see some nice silver paint there on the face. Some nice metallic blue there for the visor. You also get some silver right here on the top of his head. But overall, a pretty nicely done head sculpt. You got that nice silver paint here going down the chest. You got that smoky transparent plastic right there on the chest with some nice mold detail behind it. You get some more of that silver there on the abdomen. You get some more of that smoky transparent plastic. The thighs are all silvered out. It looks quite nice. Again, you have that tinted transparent plastic there with the yellow and the red behind it. You even have some details on the inside of the leg, which are picked out in paint, which they did not have to do, but they did, and I appreciate it. And some more of that silver, silver feet. And going up the back here again, he has the typical aerial bot backpack going on. You can leave these fins out if you want to. Totally up to you. As always, your toy, do what you want with it. I think this is more, uh, if you want them to look more animation model accurate, you should leave these out. But, you know, again, if you want things to look a little bit cleaner, just leave them folded up. Again, totally up to you what you want to do. You can do what you want with these wings, too. You can leave them, you know, folded out or brought back like that, you know. You have these hinges here to work with, so you can pretty much do what you want with them and have those oriented however you wish. Maybe bring them back behind the legs like that or something. Again, do what you want with it. And of course, you can leave the missiles, again, attached if you want to, but I leave them off just so things can look a little bit cleaner. But yeah, you have uh, a lot of options for what you want to do with, you know, the wings and whatnot. 
So, yeah, now articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So you get some good wiggly, waggly, waggly, waggly. He can look, oh, if you untap things, he will look up. Maybe he looks up a little bit, looks down some. Full 360 degree range of movement there. The arms can do a full 360, can go in and out. Um, I do wish that this held together a little bit better because that comes apart a little too easily. Uh, you do have bicep rotation. 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. Of course, this uh, panel right here will get in the way, but the wrists rotate about as much as a wrist should. And the hands are articulated. The hinges are quite stiff, actually, but the thumb is on a ball joint at the base, and each finger has a hinge at the base and a hinge right there. So you got some nice articulated fingers going on. You do have waist rotation. And these front panels can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward, that far, back, that far, outwards, very far. You got some thigh rotation right there at the, at the top of the thigh. You have a ratcheted knee joint there with 90 degrees of bend. And the feet are on a ball joint. They're also on a hinge right here, so you can Move the feet up, move them down, and you get some tiltage out of it. So, decently poseable. Get them situated here. Why don't you want to stand now? You stand. You stand because it's normal. Alrighty. And of course, he can hold his gun. We'll just open his hand up here. Open, open. You can see there's just a, uh, a tab right there in the palm, and there's a groove right there in the handle of the gun. And you just plug that in and wrap his fingers around it. And he holds it pretty securely. So there you go. So now he's got his gun. And he's ready to strike some air. Now, if you want to, again, you can take these missiles, do what you want with them. There is also uh, these ports up here. You can actually take these and plug them onto his shoulders if you want to. Hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do. As always, your toy. Display it however you wish. It is an option. But again, I'm just going to leave these off altogether. But, yeah. There you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with TFC Toys Air Raid. So you can see how they look together. Here he is with Combiner Wars Air Raid. Uh, here he is with the Masterpiece Seeker Mold, the Masterpiece Starscream. You can see basically the same height as the Masterpiece Seeker Mold. Uh, here he is with MP10 Optimus Prime. You can see how he scales there with the big bots. The triple B, the big boss bots. And here he is with the G1 Air Raid because he's pressure. He's really yellow, but he's pressure. So there you have a Zeta Toys Air Strike, aka Air Raid, and uh, yeah, it's it's uh, a decent figure. Um, the jet mode I absolutely love. I think the jet mode looks gorgeous. Um, robot mode looks really good too. Um, uh, plastic quality wise, he feels okay. Um, the plastic definitely is not up to par with some of the better third party companies like Fans Toys or Mastermind. You know, the plastic does feel a little. Um, if, if you remember when I reviewed the, the knockoff Titans Return figures, um, if you've seen those videos, you know, I said that those figures, the plastic feels knockoff-ish. And yeah, the plastic on this guy, it feels knockoff-ish. Like, it doesn't feel, you know, fragile or flimsy. It doesn't feel like it's going to, you know, break if you look at it funny. Um, but the, the plastic quality could definitely be a bit better. I mean, like, this guy right here, like, he's smaller than Airstrike, but yet he actually, he actually weighs more than Airstrike. Like, this guy actually is really light. Um, and maybe that's done on purpose. Maybe that's, you know, done to make the combined mode a bit more stable so there's not as much weight to deal with. I don't know. That could end up being a bad thing because there's not as much weight to it. I don't know, but 
We'll only know for sure when we have all five of them put together in combined mode. But, you know, overall, he is a decent figure. So, there you go. So if you would like this or any of Zeta Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check them out. You can also check out the Kronos playlist for this and all future reviews, also linked in the description down below. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Zeta Toys Air Strike, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, be proud. Boom in your face. Hey, hey Optimus, I'm here. No, oh, all right, good. Where, where, where's the rest of the team? Um, I, I'm the only one. You're the only one? Why? Um, release dates? No, oh, great. That's just great. That's just great. So it's just you and Power Glide. Oh, and Power Glide, he's, he's worthless. Oh, man. Do you realize all the Decepticons can fly? I mean, all of them. Even Megatron, and he turns into a gun for Primus' sake. Wait, I thought the Autobots could fly too. Nah, that was only the first couple of episodes. Then we forgot how. Anyway, I I guess you'll have to do for now. Gee, thank you for the vote of confidence, sir. Yeah, well, that's what I'm here for. Go get yourself killed while you're out there. I'll 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 do my best. <laughs>